this right here. This is my original Game Boy Color from my childhood and I have had it for more than 20 years and it is still in a pretty good condition. It still works and I can play Game Boy games on it and it is amazing, I absolutely love it. Ooh, Worms Armageddon on Game Boy Color! Well, you can probably just barely see it in the uh, recording because these screens are very, very dark. Well, that's great, but what if I wanna play games like Pokemon and I really wanna become a Pokemon Master and catch them all? Well, Nintendo has made our lives difficult by splitting uh, all the Pokemon be between multiple cartridges, so you actually need to have uh, at least two Game Boys to collect them all. And you also need a link cable. Yeah, just like this one. This is a third party cable I got like back in a day, like long, long time ago. However, my problem is the obvious. I didn't have two Game Boys to actually trade the Pokemon between the games. So I went on eBay and I found a beautiful Game Boy that uh, listing said is in acceptable working condition. Yeah, and this is what I've got. Like... <laughs> Yeah, acceptable working condition, this is not. I mean, we are missing the door for the batteries, uh, but that would be a minor thing. Uh, but the big problem is the screen. As you can see, it's all black with these white spots. And that means it is absolutely broken. However, we can still test whether the system itself is working. Let's put some Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 in it! And listen carefully. Yes, it's working! Uh, so that means the motherboard is just fine. But yeah, as you can see, we don't have the screen. The screen is absolutely gone. So I did contact the seller and I got partial refund for this game by color. Uh, but yeah, now I need to switch the screen. And to get a new screen, I actually went on AliExpress. And I found the screen for just around 37 euros. The reason I chose this one was because it doesn't require any soldering. So I can just plug all the wires and not worry about anything else. And here is what I received. Well, actually, it was also packaged within a box and then within the bubble wrap, which is just fine for this type of thing. So what do we have in this set? We have the new um, like plastic protection bit, like in the front of the screen. Well, that's good because the one we have on over here has these large scratch marks on it. Uh, then we have the screen itself. It's a tiny bit smaller than the original one, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem because the difference is like of only a few millimeters. And then we have the additional board for this screen to actually work. And we have the wires and uh, yeah, some double-sided scotch tapes to actually hold the screen in place. And to open up the Game Boy itself, we need one of these sets, like these are all the screws you need for these old uh, Nintendo consoles. This time we're gonna need this one, uh, I believe it's called the Philips screwdriver. So, let's get to it, let's open up the Game Boy. Ooh, we are inside. Now I will use a regular small cross uh, screwdriver. Release these screws. And 
and here we have it. We have taken apart our Game Boy Color. So, I think I'm gonna start by removing the screen first. Oh yeah, you can clearly see that this screen is absolutely cooked. And now I'm going to try and remove the, this front plastic by squeezing it out from, from the inside. And here we go. Well, the shell itself has a little bit of like scratches and dents in it. However, I don't want to switch it out because it's still like an original thing and yeah, I want to keep as many original parts for this thing as possible. Now I will apply the new screen protector. And it fits really, really good. So within this set, they have actually given me the like sticker, um, which is a double-sided tape cut exactly for the Game Boy Color uh, to glue in the screen bit. And they also have given this little plastic piece right here that you have to put like on the side because this works as a like a spacing thing. Uh, so that the screen, as I mentioned, the screen is a little bit smaller than the original one. Uh, but yeah, this will properly adjust the screen in its place. So this right here, this is an additional board you need to actually make the new screen work. So these wires right here, these will attach to the original board. However, this right here is a new button uh, with the help of which we can actually adjust the brightness of the screen. And now before I actually uh, put everything in place, I want to sh check whether the new screen works. And it does. So, we are good to go. We can put everything together now. So, the moment of truth, does it work after I have closed it? It does! However, the screen is not lit. Why is so? Okay, let's check it one more time.
Yay! It works! We even can adjust the dimness of the screen. But we are not done yet! We still don't have the battery case door on the back. But once again AliExpress is here to save the day because you can order these uh, just for a few cents. Uh, well, yeah, they don't fit as nicely as the originals as there is a little bit of wiggle room. But still, it's good enough. And yes, I went with a white battery cover because I thought it will look a little bit funky with having white door over here and white uh, like the screen protector on front. And now finally I can play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 on this new screen on my new Game Boy Color! Ooh. Well, I mean, this is definitely an improvement over the original screen because you can actually see it without being on surface of the sun. Yeah, the Tony Hawk himself. Let's choose him. Let's choose his first board and let's go. Yay. Whee! Whee! Mmm, infinite fun. Well, yeah, <laughs> to conclude, I have to say this was my first time ever switching out like Game Boy screen. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it is not that difficult to do. For me, what started by just purchasing another Game Boy Color quickly turned into this crafting project that I wasn't anticipating. However, here I also can say that, uh, yeah, as the years go by, these things uh, are becoming even more expensive as they are not being manufactured anymore. So I figured I cannot wait any longer to have myself like a second Game Boy. And uh, I'm really glad I did so. And actually, I'm really glad that now I have uh, my original Game Boy and one that's been modded. In total, it cost me around 60 euros. It was 17 for the Game Boy after I received the partial refund and it was 37 for the screen. Yeah, and it was like a dollar for the back case. So yeah, it's not that cheap. However, yeah, the prices I assume is going to just keep on going up for these things. However, right now it is time for me to say a huge thank you for watching this video. Maybe subscribe to my channel, drop a comment, leave a like. Uh, yeah, those things really help out my channel a lot. Maybe you can drop a comment of what is your experience with buying these mod parts online, either it's AliExpress, eBay, or whatever. Uh, just yeah, what is your experience with modding these old consoles? Uh, yeah, just huge thank you one more time, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye. Goodbye 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 goodbye.